name is Sophie Park. I am a junior in Columbia College studying biochemistry. And this is my lab. I work in Dr. Calvin's lab. It's right here on campus. And um, it's part of the Columbia Department of Biological Sciences. So I work with Drosophila flies, which are popularly known as fruit flies. And what I study is um, a population of cells called follicle stem cells. And basically what we want to know is what their role is in the ovary and what kind of signaling pathways in the ovary affect their behavior. The research is very important because a lot of scientists use the Drosophila ovary as a model system to study other diseases such as cancers. But if you don't have a good foundation and an understanding of the model system you're working with, then the data you come up with from working from that model system is not going to be that effective. I would say my favorite aspect is probably the data collection part and analyzing the data part. So I have a better word for that. Um, it's really a fun process just to see bits and pieces of data come together into one solid conclusion. Um, sometimes the conclusion isn't always what you expected. You, have, you start out with a hypothesis and you think you'll know what the answer is, but sometimes it can be completely different. But in some ways that's even more exciting. And I just love the um, data collection process of seeing you know, all the numbers actually equate to a certain meaning or a scientific concept. So it's, it's cool to see it come together. So one of the lab techniques that I've learned while researching is how to actually dissect the ovary of a fruit fly. To do that, you're going to need a couple materials. So here we have a pair of forceps, a vial of fruit flies, some glass wells, one times PBS solution, and a little plastic vial to collect your flies in. So here is a vial of um, fruit flies. And as you know, they are very squirmish and don't want to stay in one place. So you have to knock them out in some way. And the way we do that is through carbon dioxide. So we turn on the carbon dioxide gas. And then using this instrument, we're going to knock them out. So, okay, this works. And then once the flies are on the plate, they'll actually be stay knocked out for a while because the plate itself is perforated and the CO2 gas will come out of the perforated pad. Once you get training on how to recognize female versus male flies, basically just learn to pinch one at the abdomen. So this here is a female fly with curly wings. Grab it. Then you're going to take the bottle of one-time PBS, like this, and just squirt it in the middle center, center well. and then you're just going to dissect. Yeah. Yeah. And then here you have an ovary of the female fruit fly. I would say the best, most important advice is to be very patient with lab. Lab research does, is not a short-term deal. It's a very long-term deal. You might spend years even uh, working on a single project. And if you don't have that patience and willingness to just sit down and analyze the data or collect the data, then um, you're going to have a pretty miserable time in lab. So it's just being able to persevere and trust that everything will work out in the end is really